That's funny. Hey, all my bearded brethren out there and non-bearded folks, how you doing today? This is Paul with Polywog's Beard Co. coming at you. And today I'm going to be talking about my EDC, which is my everyday carry and how it relates to my beard products or beard care. This is going to be a video on on-body carry only, not anything extra that I have in packs. So these items, guys, are mainly going to be items that I carry all day, every day, whether I'm at home or at work. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off with basic. I carry a key fob. I have a push button start on my car. I don't like a lot of keys. I love that aspect. I keep that um, key fob in my cargo pocket. Forget about it. I can open my car without it. Push button start it. I'm good to go. Don't like a lot of keys. That works out perfect for me. Work related and non-work related. The next item I'm gonna talk about is my knife that I carry on a daily. Now, eventually I do want to get myself a better knife to carry in the evening, but this is the one that I carry on me during the day at work. This is the Coast RX352. It's a fairly decent sized knife. I'd say like seven, seven inches, eight inches overall. It's got the pocket clip on it that's reversible, so you can carry tip up, tip down, righty, lefty, whichever you're comfortable with. It actually has a nice little locking system on here, so... If you want to lock it open, if you want to close it and lock it for some reason so it doesn't accidentally open on you, it's pretty good. This knife is a very inexpensive knife. I think I paid less than 20 bucks for this knife. This thing has been a trooper, man. I'm telling you, for an inexpensive knife, it's worked great. Now, right now, it's dull as hell because I've actually used this thing to open up tuna cans at work one a couple days in a row and never sharpened it afterwards, but it still does what I need it to do on a daily, which is just opening up bags, cutting cardboard, whatever the case may be. This is a beater knife, basically, is what I'm getting at. But it works fantastic, it's been holding up. I've had this thing for, I'd say, every bit of close to a year, and I have no issues with it except for, like I said, the serrations are still pretty sharp, but the actual blade itself I haven't sharpened, but I don't really need to, it's not that big of a deal. The other item that I carry on me every day is a flashlight. And again, it's a Coast as well. This is a Coast uh, HX5, I believe that says. Um, nice, small, pocketable a flashlight. Not real fancy. Single click on, single click off. There's no memory. There's no strobe. There's nothing crazy. It's just a slider. So you have two beams. When you turn it on, if you push it all the way back, you've got a wide flood beam. And if you push this light forward, it gives you the more narrow single straight beam. I love this little light. It takes AA batteries or a lithium ion battery, 14,500, which will actually give you more lumens and it'll give you a little bit longer running time than a regular AA battery. So I've, I've bought a couple of those and, and put those in here. And what you get is, I believe it's 300 lumens, 250 to 300 lumens on a AA battery. If you put the lithium ion battery in here, you can get up to 900 lumens, I believe it is, for a limited amount of time, and then it'll back itself down to the 250, 300 lumens that you know you would get with a regular AA. But the batteries are rechargeable, so it's super easy. You bring them home. You know, I, I have two or three that I just swap them out when when one's charged, and I'll put the other one in. No big deal. So this thing, guys, is great. Again, very inexpensive. I may have paid 10 bucks for this light, I think, maybe a little bit more, but I don't, I don't think I, I, I haven't, it's literally, I've had this, this is the second one of these that I've had and I still have the first one, but I use it in a bag because the clip on it that's here, this is a great little pocket clip, but it also does this where if you're wearing a ball cap, it has the reverse clip. If I can, there, there you go. If I could not, not be dumb. Um, it has the reverse clip on it as well. So if you need to use this as a headlamp and you want to work hands-free doing something but you still get light, it's great for that. Like I said, it's a reverse clip or a great pocket clip. It carries so low in your pocket that there's not much that does stick out. Um, the reason that I have two of them is because the first one that I bought, this clip actually broke up in this area in the front. It kind of snapped off. So you could still put it in your pocket, but it was really sharp, but you couldn't use it on your cap if you needed to. So I decided to buy another one of these because I found out how durable the other one was. 
I put the other one, I took the clip off completely and just threw it in a pack that I carry every single day. And that one stays in that bag. So I know I have a decently reliable light in there. And I have a couple other ones as well, but that's not. So I bought this one and I've used this one for, again, for probably over a year. It's been close to a year at least with just this one alone and probably a year or so with the other one before it broke. The clip broke, not the light. I've dropped this thing, guys. I've kicked it. It's been in rainstorms. It's been no water has gotten into this thing. I mean, I carry it in my pocket all day at work. So, you know, it gets soaking wet if I'm caught in the rain. I've had no issues with this bugger. I will continue to buy these products. I don't feel like spending $80 on a flashlight that does pretty much the same thing, except for a little more fancy items. Now, yeah, I wouldn't mind having a light that's a... Uh, has the USB rechargeable battery already in it and whatnot. Those are a lot more convenient too, or has the stand, the magnetic stand that you can recharge. But look, to be honest with you, I'm not going to spend the money on something like that when this is just a daily killer flashlight. I love that thing. Moving on. Um, what do I, I talked about my wallet. I talked about the knife, my light. I actually have another knife that I carry on me. And I'll bring out two things at once. I always carry a a really nice pen on me every day because I do a lot of writing during the work. I use the Pilot G2 uh, 0.7 millimeter, 07 millimeter pen. I love that. That's real nice and quick. My other knife that I carry on me is actually a neck knife. And I do this for a reason. I have the knife in case I need it. This is a CRKT. I forget exactly what the what it's called. I know it's a CRKT, but... Um, oh, it's the Minimalist. Uh -huh. That's funny. But this little bugger I use when needed but hardly ever i use that knife for pretty much everything so that i don't have to use this one i could use this one more for any kind of food items it's a little dirty right now but whatever you get the point it's a set it's a uh, separate light or knife but the reason that i do wear this is for two reasons one since i do need a pen on me all the time i usually link my pen right there and on the other side at work, guys, we carry radios that we have the microphone, like the corded microphones, and I'll leave my microphone uh, attached right here on the lanyard. So that way I have easy access to my mic when people are calling me and I can answer and blah, blah, blah. So that way it's right there, everything. My pen's easily accessible. That's easily accessible. I don't like really wearing my microphone up over my opposite shoulder and attaching it to my shirt and having it pull. So for me, I find that this is the easiest way to do it. Hook the microphone on to the lanyard, and I'm good to go. A couple other small items that I carry on me, guys, and I promise I am getting to the beard-related items momentarily. I carry a, a tube of ChapStick, which is actually Blistex for me. It's not ChapStick. This is medicated, and it has an FPS, F, P, FPS protection. There you go. I got it. Um, of, I think, 15 so I love this stuff, man. It works great. It moisturizes. It protects you from the sun, which my hair is doing for the most part for me now because I've been growing out the stash and letting it hang. But this stuff's been great. I love it. I've used it for many years. I mean, not that specific tube, but I've been using Blistex for many years. I carry a mini Bic lighter on me, guys. Got to have the, the got to have fire. You never know when you're going to need it. I, I'm not a smoker. I don't smoke cigarettes. But two different things. A, in case you ever are in an emergency where you happen to need fire, you're going to have a little way of starting fire. And then also, you know, you, I have a lot of guys at work that do smoke that sometimes they forget a lighter or their lighter dies on them or whatnot. Hey, Paul, can I get a light? Yeah, sure. Here you go. And I get these guys asking me that all the time. Why do you carry a lighter if you don't smoke? That's the reason. I can help out other people, which I don't know if you're really helping them technically if you're helping them light a cigarette because... It's very not healthy, not not very healthy. To all you smokers out there, I apologize. It's not for me. Hey, I'm willing to help out. I'm willing to help you. Oh, look at that. It might be uh, close to dead. I might have to change this out pretty soon. This has lasted me for a long time. I've carried this specific mini big lighter on me for almost a year, I would say, at least. You never know when you're going to need it. That's why I carry it. Um, one of the other things I carry on me on a daily, guys is re-wetting drops. I, I wear contacts and I hate the feeling of dry, scratchy, itchy, dirty eyes. Not necessarily dirty, but you know what I'm saying? And any other contact wearers out there might know what I'm getting at. So I keep a bottle of re-wetting drops on me all the time. 
excuse me, I got the burpsies because I can't stand having that dry, itchy feeling. Another cool thing that I carry, Tic Tac, the gum, love them. Keep you fresh and breath, freshy, freshy, fresh, fresh breath all day for part of the day. But anyway, all right, guys, now getting into the good part. That's all the general BS. Oh, I also do carry a uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus on me every day and a Samsung Galaxy S8. My S8 is the work phone that they give me. My S8 Plus is my personal phone that I use um, when not at work. So that's what you're record I'm recording this video on right now. So I'm not going to show you in the video, obviously, because uh, I'm using it. The other, the, the beard related items I'm getting to now. All right. I'll start off with the, the generic one. This is business cards, guys. I carry, like I mentioned before, I carry some business cards in my wallet just in case I happen to forget this, but I carry a business card holder with as many of my business cards in as I can. I run into people all the time at work, whether bearded gentlemen that have had beards that buy a product or newer beard guys that I talk to, you'd be surprised how many guys are coming into my job that have beards or starting to grow beards and are interested in buying products. So I keep cards on me no matter where I'm at. I can hand them out to people and be like, hey, you got to check out my product. You know, I make all natural bombs, oils, blah, blah, blah. Here you go. So business cards. If you don't already carry them, which most of you business guys, uh, business owners of other beard companies probably do, carry business cards on you. You never know when you can gain a customer out there um, just by handing them a business card and talking to a guy about his beard. That's that. Now, next up, guys, I carry this little tiny itty bitty bottle of oil. And what I do, I've noticed recently that my beard, uh, because I'm out in the weather and, and I get a lot of uh, dirt and dust in it, it dries out pretty quickly and the oil that I use in the morning dissipates and disappears pretty quickly because of the, the dirt. So sometimes what I'll do is around noon-ish, one, whatever, I'll go in, when I'm mainly when I try to go in for lunch, I'll rinse my beard off and rinse my face off and get the dirt off and I'll rinse the beard off a little bit. And when I rinse it after I'm done, I kind of pat it dry, you know, with paper towels or whatever. And so it's not sopping wet, obviously, but a little bit damp, but I'll use the oil. I'll take whatever oil and scent that I want in this little bottle. And for me, this is about one usage. I use about a quarter size amount of oil in my beard per application. And that's basically what this holds, maybe a little bit more. So there may be a little bit left over at the bottom when I, after I pour out what I need. Um, but yeah, I carry this now recently on a daily basis, probably within the last two weeks only. I've felt that my beard has been getting too dried out during the day. So I've started carrying that because of that. I don't carry any bombs on me. Um, I usually don't use them. Like I've told you guys before, I don't really use the bomb until like maybe I'm going out at night. Rarely I'll put it on in the morning before work, but Usually that's when I go out and I just want to keep it, you know, nice and managed and, you know, manageable, whatnot, tame, so to speak. That's when I'll do that. The last item that I have on my person as a carry item on a daily, <laughs> and you guys are going to make fun of this probably, but I dig this little guy and I want to know what your comments are, what you think about it, but it's this little bugger right here. It's basically what looks to be like a little woman's compact for their makeup or what do you call that? The, uh, found, I don't know, the foundation or blush or I don't know. It looks similar to that, but it's not. My wife works for a physical therapy company and they do meetings and stuff off and on. They have sometimes, not giveaways, but they'll do like little promotional items for their employees or, or other people. And one time she happened to get this little guy and it was a, you know, a little promotional item. It's, it's, I call it a compact because it has a mirror. Now getting into the EDC, a mirror is a great thing to have, period, guys. You get something in your eye, you need to see what it is. You get a cut on your face for some reason. You want to see how bad it is or, or what it is. You have a mirror, right? Or if you just want to see how damn sexy your beard's looking for the day, you could just pull this out and be like, wow, I'm still looking pretty fresh. Good to go. But in case you need a little brush or a comb, pow. You pop this little guy out. It's got this little rubber back do flicky that holds all these little teeth and tines inside there. 
This is just like any other plastic brush on the market you would find. They are cheap, but for me, these actually work the best. I use these things constantly, and I'll comb up my beard during the day a couple times. I get no snags. I get no pulling, tugging. I love these things. Even when I'm at home, I've showed you guys before. I don't use a Kent comb. I don't use a sandalwood comb. I use these things. Now, I do use a boar hair bristle brush, which I absolutely love. If I could find a really nice, small, compact one that I could carry, I may even carry a compact boar hair bristle brush with me during the day. But for right now, this thing is perfectly pocketable, and I love this little thing. Push the little tines back down inside there, fold this up, and slap it in your pocket, man. It's perfect. I wear cargo pants to work, so I've got the two extra pockets. This goes in one pocket with my um, rewetting solution. I put my wallet in the other pocket, excuse me, with my key fob and the, the gum. And all my other little stuff goes in my upper pockets. But I actually even thought about, guys, getting some of these as promotional items for myself. Getting them in like a black color, having my logo printed on them. And then if I do farmer's markets or local shows, any kind of thing like that, giving these away as a, as a you know a promotional item. I think it's kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think. This pretty much wraps up my EDC anyway. So, guys, let me know what you think of my little compact brush deal thingy that I got going on here. Um, tell me what you think, honestly, if it's, you know, it's the goofiest thing you've ever seen. If you're like, hey, that's kind of cool, you know, or if you're like, that's dumb. Why would you do that? Or are you a real man? Yes, I am a real man, damn it. And I don't care. This is, to me, this is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, mainly of this, but of everything. Let me know what you guys, do you have an EDC? We all have an EDC. We just don't, some of us may not think of it that way. But let me know what you guys carry on a daily basis for your beard routine. Um, whether you carry oils, carry bombs, carry brushes, uh, combs, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments because I am interested to know what you guys do. So, with that being said, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching this. Hopefully, you stayed till the end to check out what I use on my beard on a daily. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, guys, too, because I, I'm not the most regular poster, as a lot of you guys probably know. But if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when I am gonna when, when I do post a video. You'll get a notification letting you know that I've, I've put up a video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. And until the next time, you guys stay beautiful. Have a great day. And uh, peace out.